and welcome to my channel. It's time for October wrap up. What did I read in October? I managed to read seven books. Let's just get into the books. I the first book I finished was the September Peak for Tea Leaves Book Club and it was The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I read it on my Kindle and I really love it. Loved it still love it and I want a physical copy of it. I will get it when, who knows, but it was such an amazing read and yeah, I don't know what to tell about it. It's mostly set in this orphanage where there are magical children and in this particular orphanage there are like, they're classified as really dangerous one of them is Lucy, who supposedly is a child of the devil. He's an antichrist. They're, those kids are just amazing. I really like them. They are, yeah, they have powers and twisted humor, but it was such a lovely book about misunderstood children and about love and now about found family and the main character is sent to that orphanage to check on it kind of if everything is going all right there and it's about his journey of kind of finding himself because he's unhappy he has his job he kind of likes it but it's a routine job he does he do th does things like as best as as he can but the visit to that orphanage he mu spends a month there changes him kind of and it was such a lovely book that i really really want to get a physical copy and i really want to reread it too the next book i read was namai gradzans by alexander greens this one is a historical fiction set in the beginning of 17th century i didn't like it because i don't enjoy war scenes and at that time i found it like it's kind of based in a history that it could have actually happened but from what I understood from the intro that it's a fictional thing but it's about the last descendant of this king that ruled the I don't know how to call it in English the part of the territory so he kind of wants to claim back the land, but at the same time, he doesn't have the right to, just because he's descendant of that historical person doesn't mean he can take it back. So he just goes and tries to take it back. And yeah, I don't really like war scenes, like descriptions of those. So yeah, I didn't enjoy the book. That's that what I know that I don't like about historical fiction or historical fiction. The point of view of soldiers, this is not really a point of view of soldiers, but that's just not my thing. The book was good and I've been wanting to read it for quite some time. But yeah, I'm glad I read it. So, yeah, that's it. The next book I picked up was Agatha Christie Mystery and it was Murder in Three Act or Three Act Tragedy. I saw both of those titles and this one I really enjoyed. It's about this murder that happens at this party and then a while after that the second really similar murder happens. And so they are tied together and there is this group of people who try to find out what really happened. It's an Hercule Poirot mystery but he kind of shows up at the beginning and then for half of the book he's not even there and of course he shows up at the end and figures everything out but this was a really nice book after 
the one I didn't enjoy. And I really want to read more by Agatha Christie. I think I have read only Murder on the Orient Express by her. So, yeah, I will definitely read more of her books. Then I finished up the book I started in September and it was Binge by Tyler Oakley. This one is uh, autobiography. I would have liked it better, I think, if I've read it on audio because I know he himself read it. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't know a lot of things about him because I only watch his videos on YouTube once in a while and I don't really know some things that happened outside his YouTube world because I don't tend to like follow them and see what they're what's happening elsewhere and I didn't know about the drama with One Direction that he wrote about here I was shocked I remember his videos with them but I didn't know like what happened afterwards I don't know if he talked about it on his channel and I just don't remember but yeah that was a shock I like biographies those are one of my favorite nonfiction books to read so I'm glad I finally did read this one after that I finished a short story collection by Edgar Allan Poe this one is called Tales of Mystery and Imagination but under that title on Goodreads there are multiple like books with different amount of pages so I think None of them are the same, but in this one there are 13 stories that I enjoyed most of them. I like the best the ones that are detective-based stories, but few of them are like about, what I say, crazy people who do crazy things. But yeah, I definitely am interested in reading more by him. I think I previously only read The Raven. I think that's by him, right? The poem. I got this book only because there is a cat on the cover for my cat book collection. The next book I picked up was The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. This one is a horror. I think it's like categorized as horror and I really enjoyed this one. It's set in this place, Bethel. The main character, Emmanuel, she gets hold of her mother's diary and reads it and weird things start happening. But there were parts that were scary and that for most of the book I had this unsettling feeling inside when I read it because I knew that something's gonna happen and some things happened. But I like the main character. I liked her, like, what was he called? Ezra? Why do I think it, his name was Ezra? He's the prophet's son, like the next prophet when the current one dies, he kind of takes his place. So yeah, it was a really interesting read. I definitely recommend this one. And there are, what I, what I found interesting was how the good part, the religious religion kind of good part, were like based on a father and the bad, the witches, are the mother. So it's kind of men are good, women are bad. That's what I kind of felt. But yeah, really interesting. The last book I'm going to talk about is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This was a really good read too. I really enjoyed it. My favorite part was the grimoires, the books in this one. They kind of are alive. They have souls, they can communicate with you, some can talk. And the main character, she grows up in a library that has those grimoires. And then one night the library is attacked and one escapes. And when those grimoires are damaged, they turn into these monsters and they start killing things. If they are, like, dangerous enough. So... On that night when that one escapes, she's kind of blamed that she is the one who did it, who damaged it and let him escape. So she's taken to the capital by this sorcerer, Nathaniel, and Nathaniel has a demon companion, Silas. And yeah, things happen, of course. My favorite character was Silas, partly 
because he can turn into white cat and that makes my cat lady heart happy so yeah but i really enjoyed it i liked the libraries like the idea of those books i really like them but yes good read so these are the books i finished in october i think it was a pretty good reading month i enjoyed most of the books i read so that's great i really like didn't enjoy only one so that's actually amazing so yeah please let me know what you read in october have you read any of these books just talk to me in the comments down below but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next one bye after that i finished a short story collection by edgar Allan poe this is called let's see i forgot already after that i finished a short story 